Mendoza and you're looking for a fun, solo, friendly activity, you wouldn't want to miss doing this in Mendoza. Today, we'll be visiting Bodegas Lopez in Maipu. We'll take Mendoza's metro tram. Here, we use the SUBE, a rechargeable card pass used on public transport services. From Belgrano, the fare is less than 50 cents per person, and it's the same rate no matter where we stop, as it's a straight line that extends from Avellaneda to Guiteres, and Guiteres is our stop. It took us 15 minutes and we finally made it. Just close to the tram station is where you can rent a bicycle to discover the wineries around the town and they're called Wine and Ride. I also found an abandoned winery that used to be the largest in the world in 1910. We arrived at Bodegas Lopez after 5 minutes of walking from the station. The place looks clean, beautiful and it has organized parking space for cars and bikes. Bodegas Lopez offers a variety of private tours and I'd encourage you to visit their website to reserve in advance. As for us, we just went ahead and take the general tour that's available and it's spoken in Spanish. So there are different parts of the process broken down into sections. Here you'll see big tanks and barrels. It's where they grind and separate the wet and dry residue, which is the skin, stalk, and the seed of the grapes. The liquid will be the final product, which is the wine, and the unwanted residue won't go to waste as it will be used as a fertilizer and some will turn into grappa after distillation. The coat of arms or the symbol of Bodegas Lopez can be found on the biggest barrel you see here. These are thousands of empty wine bottles ready to be filled for the wine festival, the Bendimia. <laughs> It was wine tasting time. There's this red sweet wine which he told us to put under the light and our hand below to see the true color of the wine. Then he told us to do the same thing with the white wine. It was almost like a chemistry experiment which was pretty cool. <laughs> Yes, but I don't know if we don't want to see a perfect amount of time. 
and we have three in the La cosecha más antigua es del año 1930. Which year? No, I think that's 1970. 1970. Wow. Be careful. The winery was founded by this guy. Jose Lopez in 1898, whose origins from Spain. The Lopez family was already in a small-scale wine and olives business in Spain until he had to relocate to Argentina because of the plague of insects that killed the vine crops in the 1800s. He was in different provinces in Argentina and had to work for 10 years. So after saving up some money to start fresh, he slowly brought his family members in Mendoza to start a new but same business and this is where his legacy begins. They also have a mini museum where they display everything from family portraits to traditional mechanics. It's been 125 years and Bodegas Lopez is still being managed by the continuing family after four generations. Like any other business model, it has always offered the best quality, attention to detail, and it's always on its highest standards. Merlot. This is how it is. Sauvignon blanc. Malbec. Sauvignon. Okay. Sauvignon. Renzo, which one is your car?
keep the... The secret, the money. Yeah, could be done there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. put this in the ground. This one and then you put it. And clean. Yes. Everything too. This is a modern version, but you see before. This is for wine. And this is huge, it's more, you have more here. And to stock is, wine. This is the vertical ones. We see the horizontal, and this is vertical. It's a, a different way to make wine. But the wooden is the same, it's from France, mm -hmm. and it's very old too. Let's open this one. And you have the... The measurement. Huh? Okay. Whoa. Manual grapes. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have the system here. You have the system here. You have the system here. It's going to turn. You have the grapes and you get the wine. This is an app. Complex. And you get the wine at the end. It's very, very old. It's the same like we see before, but it's, I think it's modern, but it's the same thing. And the wine ends here. You have something to cover, of course. This is the This one is a, is a wood and you have a taste of the wine on it. And this one is a, like a new one and then you don't have the taste of wood on, the, on, the, on this barrel. Mm. So customers can choose if they want a yeah. wooden taste? It would be not the same of this. Of wine? Yeah. Or not? Everyone will have the pleasure to purchase Bodegas Lopez's products once the tour is done. If you stay this far, I'd like to thank you so much. More travel videos coming in your way.